YouTubers, Pastor Bob. Hey, I want to talk to you for just a minute. Uh, my wife was watching this series on television. I couldn't help but, you know, I always look over my laptop at what she's watching. And it was on Jeffrey Epstein and, you know, all of his crimes. And I was sitting there just kind of looking at it and the wheel started turning in my head. And this is what I thought. What if you die and then you wake up? What if you die and then wake up? And I was thinking that when I was watching Jeffrey Epstein and all his wealth. You know, Jeffrey Epstein was worth $500 million. $500 million. We, we can't even comprehend that kind of wealth. You could probably spend $10,000 a day for the rest of your life and never burn through it. So it was I was watching this one uh, person interview him, and he had like five mansions in five different countries. I mean, the guy was just so rich, it's just beyond belief. But what he did was he operated a sex ring. And what he would do is he would find young girls that had issues, as young as 14, and he would bring them in and abuse them, but give them a lot of money where, you know, they're young. They would, they would take the abuse because they're getting money, and then what they would do is he would get them to start bringing in their friends the same age, 14, 15, and then he would abuse them and give them money. So uh, then he would sell them, after he got them in and hooked, he would sell them to all of his pervert pedophilia friends who were also rich and powerful. And among his clients, of course, were the Clintons. So listen, Jeffrey Epstein fed his flesh his entire life. He fed his flesh. He withheld nothing from his perverted desires. And he also took pleasure in allowing others to fulfill their perverted desires just like him. He was basically a very rich pimp. That's what he was. Satan offered Jeffrey Epstein everything this world has to offer to the flesh. He offered him everything and he gladly traded his soul for the lifetime of the pleasures of the flesh. Then all of a sudden the unimaginable happened. He got caught. The news leaked out and he was arrested and put in jail. And then all of a sudden all of his wealthy, perverted, pedophilia friends realized they were in jeopardy too. So they sent the executioners to the jail where Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein was being held and they executed him within the jail. That's how rich and powerful these perverts were. So Jeffrey Epstein learned at that very moment before his death that he had absolutely no friends. He had no friends. They all turned on him. Even his God Satan turned on him. He realized that the party was over. At that moment, the party was over. One thing that Jeffrey Epstein never considered. One thing he never thought about was what if when I die, I wake up? What if when I die, I wake up? He never considered that. But you know who did consider that? Solomon. When Solomon was an old man, he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes. And the very last thing he talks about in Ecclesiastes, Solomon talks about, I did everything. Everything you could possibly imagine, I did it. He starts off in the book saying, man, I got wine, myrrh. In other words, he was doing drinking, doing drugs. He did all kinds of building campaigns, every kind of folly you can imagine. Solomon did every bit of it, every single thing you can imagine, he did. 
He did it all. He had singers, slaves, everything the flesh could desire. Solomon had it all. All the wealth, everything. And when he got old, he said, you know what? It's all vanity. Every bit of that was worthless. It didn't amount to anything. Not one single thing. And then Solomon thought, when you die, what if you wake up? This is what Solomon said at the end of his life. Ecclesiastes 12, 13 to 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. People, when you die, you do wake up. You do wake up. And then God will bring every single aspect of your life into judgment. The only way to avoid that is to repent. Let the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made on the cross apply to you. Then you are absolutely forgiven and you have nothing to fear at death. Think about that. What if when I die, I wake up? What if? Whatever hell you choose, just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.